NBC5's Regina Waldrop reporting there. We're going to show you now a powerful tribute to Adam Toledo as his community comes to terms with his death. There's a new mural that has been painted in the alley where he was shot and killed. The artist who created it hopes it can help people start to heal. It's an acknowledgement of that loss that we experience in our communities way too often. Knowing that something like this happened right behind this high school, and obviously the neighbors, the families that have to make sense out of stuff like this, especially when our police are involved. And that is tough, really challenging. So as an artist, I'm hoping that the art can help a community process this loss, right? And understand the magnitude of what happened and continues to happen in Chicago and uh, with the gun violence in our city and now you see the police violence that, that is becoming more and more present in young people's lives. Teachers and parents today have to explain to their kids, you know, what it means to have a video of uh, an officer killing a 13-year-old right here. There's no guidelines, there's nothing yeah, that, 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 that you can just point to and be like, hey, this is, this is that, so art helps us process this last conscious act Adam did was raise his hands up and um, cannot take that away from him. Um, the silhouette is um, an acknowledgement of his absence, right? That he's, that he's here in spirit and in the hearts of um, everyone that thinks about him and cares about him. So um, it's an invitation to, to fill a tragedy with community, with love, with connection, right? In order to move forward. Pablo Serrano is the artist who painted that mural. You've likely driven by his work around the city. He's painted many murals on buildings all around Pilsen. Art really does help us heal a little bit and put it all in perspective sometimes, thanks to him.